Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 9th of June. I'm James Spann. A tropical air mass, very muggy conditions continue across the state today with scattered showers and storms and a rare June front comes in here tomorrow. That'll bring some weather changes. Let's check it out. This is the upper air look across the country early this morning. The remnant circulation of Cristobal is coming up through Missouri. A trough in the western state that's producing some snow in parts of Wyoming and Colorado, of all things. But for us, very humid, and that was the radar this morning at 450. The composite had a little bit of light rain up in northwest Alabama, heavier showers in Mississippi. The rest of the state is quiet. Temperatures in the 70s, dew points in the 70s. That is very oppressive uh, air you can wear, if you will. And again, we'll see a number of showers and storms later today. Flash flood watches in effect from Missouri up through parts of Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, with the remnants of Cristobal. We've got uh, wind advisories across much of the southern Plain states. And the heat advisory for parts of south and east Texas for today. Strong storms mainly north of Alabama this afternoon and tonight. Got the standard slight risk from near Memphis up to Chicago. And then tomorrow, with the front passing through, we have a marginal risk of severe storms for much of Alabama. And the main threat's going to be from strong straight-line winds. And on day three, which is Thursday, a marginal risk for parts of the Carolinas up toward Chesapeake Bay. Here's the rain for the next seven days. The numbers are coming down in Alabama. The amount's generally under a half inch north and west of Birmingham, about one inch for southeast Alabama. It will be pretty dry by Thursday, Friday, and the weekend. Tropical weather, again, things pretty quiet now. We that little, that little swirl, that low that's east of Bermuda, but not expected to develop. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06C run, 4 o'clock today, troughing north and west of the state. A lot of green on the board, scattered showers and storms, not raining everywhere, but a few spots could see a heavy downpour this afternoon, highs mid to upper 80s, and again, very humid. Tomorrow, a front approaches. How about that for June? And that will bring more showers and storms. Again, it's not going to rain all day. This is the high-res name at 4 o'clock, not showing a lot. We'll probably see a little more activity than that along that boundary. This is the instability at 4 o'clock, and you can pick out your front from Nashville down to about Meridian, Mississippi. And the Cape values are pretty high, approaching 3,000 joules per kilogram in some spots in advance of the front. But there's no storm relative helicity, so tornadoes, no problem. Uh, where storms do form tomorrow, they could produce strong straight-line winds. That'll be the main concern. And then on Thursday, a very dry air mass drops in here. Humidity values come down, highs in the 80s. There's the precipitable water. Nice to see those shades of blue and brown dropping in here. That's very dry air. Friday should be a sunny day. Start the day well down in the 60s, the high in the 80s. Now, Saturday, the, the GFS on this run tries to back some moisture in here from the east. But the European says, nah, and we'll ride with the Euro model. We'll leave it dry Saturday with highs in the 80s. Sunday, we're dry, mainly dry, maybe a shower down around Dothan. And Monday, we're still dry uh, on this run. Lows in the 60s, highs in the 80s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 16th, an upper low east of the state. And again, that looks pretty dry. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, June 18th. That little trough still to the east. And again, that looks quiet. So once this front passes through here tomorrow, tomorrow the weather looks pretty dry for a while. Here's a rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. This is for the next 15 days. The mean about one and a half inches. Temperatures, highs mostly in the 80s, lows well down in the 60s. And I do think we'll see 50s in many of the cooler spots. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, which is not bad for June. And then we see low 90s out there toward the end of the forecast, June 17th, 18th, and 19th. 
and the latest CPC outlook. This is for June 16th through June 22nd, showing temperatures here very close to average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.